rank first sergeant, unit infantry. There were 30 or 40 Palestinians in the first house at which we arrived. An opening was made by our forces in its outer wall with a breaching frame. It's a kind of device with explosives in it. And then we entered. We didn't know they were inside at that moment. Before that stage, there had been all these leaflets, and we saw them running away when we started entering. It was evident that the citizens understood that we were coming. At this point, there was a massive deployment of backup forces, of the various relief forces. This specific house hadn't been hit by any tank shells when we entered it. As far as I could tell, this was due to a mistake. It was supposed to have been hit. Lucky for them, it hadn't. But in general, every house you were meant to enter was supposed to have been fired at beforehand. If not with a tank shell, then with a tank, mounted with a .5 machine gun. This one was a house with a very, very large courtyard, and that's where we all gathered. There were signs indicating that they had packed quickly. I think they may have been under the impression that they would be able to stay. The field interrogator grabbed one of them and took him aside with the company commander. I have no idea what happened there. I suppose he tried to get as much information out of him as possible. Ultimately, it was made clear to them that now they need to get the hell out of the place. They did. They went further south, I guess. This absolutely did not concern me. At 4 a.m., four or five women came over. They had put bags on a stick like white flags. I don't speak Arabic, but from their gesturing, I gathered that they had come back to take stuff they had forgotten in the house, stuff they considered critical. Obviously, that did not happen. What did you do at that point? We fired toward their feet. Thank you.